we're going to now add callbacks to our uh, repertoire of the uh, attribute editor customization and um, all a callback is a callback is a, a way of linking uh, custom code to an attribute like anything else in the attribute editor uh, you can use it to create custom widgets you can use it to do a multitude of things after that it, since it's mail code or python code you know it, it, you can pretty much do whatever you want so we're gonna make an example simple example and we're gonna use uh, this sphere. I'm going to use the transform. Oops. We're going to use the transform node and the mesh node on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to create two views with visibility. We'll create an empty view. So let's just delete that view. Why not? Okay. So now we've got uh, these two views. This is going to use the standard widget, but we're going to add a callback to effects to use our own widget. And the way we do this is we select it in the in the list, and then we right mouse on it. We can do this on one attribute or several at one time, and choose add a callback from the two selected attributes in the effects menu. And that brings up this small little um, dialog where we're going to enter in the callback command. So what that command is going to be is this is the script we're going to. Oops, sorry. This is the script we're going to run as our callback. It's got two parts. Uh, it has a process for adding a boolean, what we're calling a boolean button, and then it's um, running a different thing to keep them in sync. So uh, we're going to need to run this procedure first, and this then calls that other procedure. So we'll put this in here as our callback. Now, uh, since this is the same name that's been saved for this script, this script will get sourced when this callback is run. Um, if it's not the same name, you're going to have to source it separately, just so you know. So we'll do this and add our callback. And this UI will not be checking the syntax. It will not check if this is a valid expression or anything. So you're on your own. Just be careful. Okay, we've added that callback, and you can see now there's an asterisk in the menu next to the, the, this name. That's to indicate that there is indeed a callback. And if we really wanted to be sure we have multiple ones, we can choose to list the callbacks in the current view, and that then lists what the callback is. And if we had multiple callbacks here, it would list them all. Um, as well as if we wanted to do and list them in all views, it says what view the callback is in. So that's just for your for your knowledge. So this is done. We'll just create that template. Done. Now we're going to reset the editor. Oops. Let's make sure we select our mesh node. And then we're going to reset the editor. Boom. And now we're going to um, add, what was it? It was the max triangles we were going to do. Right? So we're going to do max triangles. And we're again going to delete the lighting view. And this one we're going to be doing in Python. So we're going to right mouse on our max triangles and effects. Say add a callback. Now the callback we're going to run for this is this Python script. Um, so it has it also has two parts the same way that the mail script does. It's got essentially this one one part which is creating that control and again it's got a separate nested procedure here to keep this control in sync with the attribute. So that's pretty standardized. Now the way we're actually going to be the syntax for running a Python callback is py to indicate that it's Python, and then we're going to um, give the, the module name of what we're trying to load, which is AE float. Oops, it's AE float slider. And since this is in our scripts path, this will actually get loaded as a result of this this command. Again, it's going to be essentially sourced, and then we're going to run the procedure that we want to call this whole thing, which is that. And now. We've got our callback here. And let's just create our template for this. Okay, so now let's set our global view. Since we have two nodes with this um, on it, we can now set a global view to set both of these nodes to the anim view. You can see for the uh, visibility, we have our standard widget. And max triangles 
it's kind of a little different with custom templates. If we're getting a float field, it's actually a float slider. So, but this is essentially the standard widget for a single uh, int or uh, float. So we've got our standard widget here. But now, what's going to happen when we set the global view to effects? Well, we've got our custom button here, so we can click a button to make this thing hide and visible. And as we change its state, this button updates the label. What happens in Sphere? Well, now we don't even have the, the field anymore. We just have a slider to actually adjust this value. We don't know what we're setting, but we're actually getting a custom piece of UI based on that Python code. Um, and so that, in a nutshell, is how you, you do callbacks. They're, they're very powerful, and um, you know uh, what we're going to show next a more production-based example to give you a better sense for what you can potentially do with this, uh, with custom views.